Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Leagues video. And in the last episode, as you guys probably know, we finally got ourselves an Armadil crossbow. We went over two times the drop rate for this thing. And then we also trained our fletching to afford our very first Ruby Dragon Bolt Ease. Today, I will try to balance a mix of gaining more points so we unlock our final relic and do more PVM. As you guys know, right after I hit the tier 7 relic, I didn't want to immediately rush for the tier 8. However, now that one day is gone, I might start considering putting some points into the table as well. Anyways, long intro over, let's jump right into today's episode. I decided to do a little bit of fossils, ended up uh, filling up quite a lot of this place, and we got four lamps. Now, there is really two skills that I can put my lamps into, either it's herblore or it's farming. I'm probably just gonna be balancing out these two skills as I go, but right now my farming is struggling. Let's just put a little bit of XP into that. So a little bit more, 32k XP drops up to 57. It would be nice if I could get it to 60 so I could plant U seeds. And just like that, fruit trees and trees, I can now plant U seeds. Ended up scraping together three more lamps. Now we got 60 farming. Let's put a little bit into herb, might as well. That's 58, that's 61, and that is 62. Very nice. The next thing I want to do is I want to train my smithing. I need 20 levels in smithing, so that's going to be a little bit hard to get. But I need to be able to create a god sword blade. Now, you may be wondering why that is the case. Well, in the last episode, we actually got a Saradomin hilt. So all we now need is a blade in order to get a bunch of points, which otherwise I can't get. So the way I'm going to train, th this is not efficient at all what I'm doing here. But I need a couple more bars in order to do better bars in the crucible in order to get more XP. Is this a good way to do it? Probably not, but I don't really know another way for me to get bars quickly. Okay, I'm still figuring out the minigame properly and to how to get the best possible swords, and I think I'm missing some molds. So if I hand this in, I'm wondering how much XP. 93,000, that's a lot of experience. That was a half a quality sword. So there's also this shop, and I think this is where I have 963 reputation. I should really start considering these things, just buying molds. There's a lot of them. Let me figure out which ones are the best for me to buy. So I'm just gonna go based on my level and I can see that serrated tip is good to unlock. And I'm not gonna bother with the other rewards yet. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get enough points. This is literally what makes this game worth playing. You need these tips of the bat. Yeah, 100,000 XP again. Okay, this is pretty nice. I like this. So for one hand in, I got like 700 reputation, which seems very good. I haven't noticed, but something pretty big just happened. We got a total level of 1,800, which means I no longer have a cooldown on my last recall relic, which is very, very useful for all the PVMing we're about to do. I think my favorite part about leagues is how it teaches you how to play the game. Like on the main game, I would never have a reason to do this minigame but now i fully understand how it works i went through like literally i went through a guide to figure out how it works and i now understand that only later on will i be able to make a hundred out of hundred quality sword most likely from like runite bars or something like that and the shop is really cool so you keep buying the better molds and you keep getting more and more xp basically already at 69 we're gonna go all the way to 80 if i have enough bars 209k xp for one sword Wait, that's insane. I, I need to check. This was a 100 quality sword. Uh, we are up to 80 smithing. And as you guys know, this is what we needed to create our god sword blade. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, I'll be definitely coming back here. All right, let's see if this is any point. I mean, it should be, right? So I have two of them. Oh, I can just click once. Okay. 1.6k XP, not bad. There's the god sword blade. I can now create a hilt. That is a Saradomin hilt. I can now wield it. That is a 200 point task, very good. Really solid, will I ever use this? Most likely not, it's kind of really irrelevant, but points are points and we're only 6k away, so I might really start looking into trying to unlock this eighth relic then. All right, I decided to do a little bit of fishing and then I decided to do a little bit of beginner clue scrolls. There really is not too much when it comes to beginner clues. What we do try to do is we need to complete this whole log. So we need 16 more uniques in order to get a decent amount of points. So we're just going to open this somewhat fast and we're just going to hope for uniques pretty much. And so far it does not look like we are getting any. That's one on the Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit. I'll make sure I can pick it up and I don't miss it. That's the second one. Pretty good. 
That's the third one. Uh, is the same one. But I might pick it up anyways. And we still got... Okay, mole sleepers and top. Uh, this might be a clue, but I'm not sure. Sandwich lady outfit. Uh, even more uniques. Bare feet there. Pretty good. Amulet of power tea and more sandwich lady stuff. Let's make sure we pick that up. Sandwich lady outfit. There we go. We're getting points for doing this. And this took like basically no time at all to complete. So that's pretty all right. A rune scimitar ornament kit Saradomin. I think that's also unique. Another defense semi with another pair of mole sleepers. Jester cape is definitely new. Oh, pretty good there. I didn't see what I got in that one. Uh, that is not it. That is useless. That's not very good. Another jester cape, unfortunately. Nothing on that one. Nothing on this one. Nothing. Hey, full sandwich outfit completed. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's a task, but let's just make sure it goes in the bank. Let's see if we can get another thing. We can. Nice. Another dune scimitar ornament kit. Very good. And the last one for nothing. You know what? This was pretty good for only 25 clues. We actually are only missing frog sleepers, shoulder parrot, and demon fit. So pretty good 25 session, to be quite honest. Nice. It is late night, therefore we are chilling. So there is level 80 hunter. It is a pretty big level. I went from 74 to 80. And the main reason for that is I believe we can now hunt herbivore. And there's a bunch of herbivore tasks. At least I think so. It used to be in the past. So maybe I'll complete a couple right now. Oh yeah, not to mention these chains will be used in Inferno or long range training to train my defense up as well. So there's a tier 2 and again the dilemma man, farming or herblore? Let's just put one more on herblore and then we'll think about it in the future where we're putting it. That is now 66. This is what I hope that I can squirk in peace. Oh my god, there's so many people here bro. Please, tell me I don't have the fucking annoying pit thingy. I think we're going. I think we're squirking. No! How am I getting caught? How am I getting caught? This is bullshit. No, not me, bro. Do I need to do it on my phone? Hold up, we going, we going. Oh no, I have the shit IP. No, it's disaster. We can't be squirking today, man. That's 200 points. I'm not gonna be able to get AFK. I'm trying a few more times, but this might be a bit of a disaster, not gonna lie. Come on, get me through. We juking? Oh my god, the peak performance gameplay situation. Oh my god, someone else got caught. Okay, we got one squirk. 99 to go. Good morning. It is a brand new day, and that means we're gonna grab some experience. So, let's see. I'm just gonna... I have 2.5. This is gonna be easy to calculate. So if I use 500, it only uses like 250, and it caps me in the prayer XP. Uh, but there's 91 prayer, just one more day. And we can start using intensify which is going to be like really huge so i need to do a bunch of bolts and the best thing to do once doing bolts is to do pest control i think but also even better part is now i get a lot of bonus points and i think i can use all of this on some useful things so you already know the drill we need to get 87 magic so we can enchant our onyx so let's just see how much xp is this we're missing 246k Oh my god, I got 600k XP for that. I might be doing this a lot. There is 87. It was that simple. It was that simple all along, by the way. And not only that, I also want to get my defense up, right? Because defense and the prayers causing me to receive 10% bonus damage, it's stacking up and I take a lot of damage, whatever I do. So we're going to put the rest onto defense for sure. Uh, and then we're going to enchant our onyx. But I'm not going to use 85 points. So I'm just going to do more runs and only use 100 points at a time. And here we are with the level 6 enchantment. And if we use it on an onyx, we now have our best in slot amulet. I cannot get anything better than that. So now fury is our best friend. Glory is no more. Okay, let's try this again. Did a few more games. And obviously my defense is struggling. So... We can use it three times. How much do we get? 492k. It's already 76. We go again. 554k. 79. We go again. This is so dumb. I kind of want to use this all day today just in case if they nerf this the way they nerfed Soul Wars. Because this 616k XP 
This is kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I might just do this till 99 defense because 99 defense is pretty hard for me to get if it wasn't for the pest control. Use this 100 points on prayer, we can now finally test out how this intensify works. Now this on paper seems like an insanely good spell, but I don't know if I can pair it in combination with some others. I can't, so I either use the ranged attack and strength or accuracy. And I don't know what's actually better, by the way. Okay, that's interesting, but I need to decide between this and that. I'm just gonna assume intensify is better, but if somebody in the comments can tell me what's actually better, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Here comes more dopamine. Best control is now my favorite minigame in the game. Let's go ahead and get some defense XP. 677,000. Let's get a little bit more defense XP. 739. Let's get a little bit more of defense XP. 739k again. Yeah, let's, uh, how about, how about we do, well, hold up, a little bit more defense XP. 739k, we're up to 90 right now. I might go all the way to 99. This seems absolutely broken. <laughs> all right, so hear me out. There's many things I should be doing, but instead I've been playing pest control. Listen, I can explain. Let's do a little bit of defense. And that's 91. And how about a little bit more defense? And that's 93. And how about, let me see, I think a little bit more defense, that's 862,000. Bro, this is absolutely crazy. And that's 80, 80 what, 862k? And then we do one more, because we might as well. 924k, how about, dude, uh, can my pop-up stop? Let, let's do one more. And that's 924k, and how about we do one more? And let's just, for safety, do one more. And how about... Oh, wait. I don't want to waste a thousand right now. I mean, a hundred. I'm just going to use ten at a time. 90k? Okay, 90k is fine, right? Yeah, I need to do this like four times. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. How am I still getting pop-ups? I think the pop-ups are just delayed. Here, I'll just use it. Might as well. There it is. 99 defense. And it only took... A little bit of pest control gaming. Now, there is an argument for me to go for 94 magic, so then I can finish the rest of it through Slayer and just barraging, or I do strength, and then when I do DKs, for example, it's gonna be a bit easier because I'll be able to do all three. So this is basically kind of uh, where I'm thinking of going right now, and I don't want to leave this place. Like, this place is sick. Let's just put one in strength, see how much we get. Little 616. Uh, probably gonna go for a little bit more pest control, might as well. 665k, and a little bit more. We're now on 90, and let's do a little bit more. We are now on 91, a little bit more. We're now on 92, let's do one more. We're now on 93, I don't need to... I mean, here is, I'm just gonna use 100, even though... Because I will wanna get 99 at some point anyways, right? So, there's 94 magic. We can now cast basically everything there is, complete a bunch of tasks. Alright, 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 listen up. It's been a few hours, I think. I kinda lost the track of time. I might have gotten myself uh, 2,000 points. I can explain. So, there's 85, there's 87, there's 89, and there's 90. Oh my god, so many pop-ups. And how about 92? And we do a little bit more. Dude, this is like so crazy. I mean, it does take a little bit of time to accumulate these points, like I'm not gonna lie. But it's been the most chill morning I've ever had since release of Leagues. I've just been vibing, playing some semi-AFK pest control. And just like that, we're gonna max strength as well. There it is. <clears throat> that is 99 strength. Completed on the account as well. Even more points, 99 strength. Look at the chat box. Oi, oi, oi. And you thought that I was done, right? You thought that I was done. No, no, no. Look, we got some points. How about we train a little bit of attack as well? And we're getting like combat level 120 rewards as well. Very nice. And just like that, 99 attack strength defense is completed in a single morning. Well, that's honestly impressive. That is, I did not expect that to happen. But I guess now it is time for me to do some fun PvE to end the video off. And if I look at my gear, it's honestly looking pretty decent. But one of the upgrades that I really want to get is I want an Archer's Ring. It is a shame that I'm still using Ring of Shadows. So let's return to DKs and let's try to complete every single possible combat achievement diary there. And on top of that, also hunt for some rings that we absolutely need.
There is only one problem going on at the moment. I'm in the most laggy world possible, but the login servers are currently offline. So if I log out or change servers, I can no longer play. So we're gonna try to do DKs on like 400 ping. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I showed this in one of my previous videos, but I'll show it again just in case. If you need to enter DKs, you set your portal right here. You teleport out. Then once you make it to the other side, you destroy this. Get rid of that. Get on the other side. And you can run in. You can theoretically destroy this as well if you want to. Alright, let's do some DKs. Okay, so one of the first things is to just go in and kill, let's say, Prime whilst both of the other two are on you. Okay, thank you. Starting KC is 151. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, now I hope I hit it. I'm doing a combat achievement task here. And this is the third time I'm trying this to kill minions first and they have spawned every time on me. But this time I think I did it fine. There it is. Very good. And I guess now what I will try to do is I might try to kill 30 Kriaras in one event. But I don't have prayer pots on me. So I'm gonna grab prayer pots and I'm gonna do a 30 minute commitment for a Grandmaster task. Man, life is so nice with 99 defense, I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, I am now committing 30 minutes of my time to staying in this room and never leaving. Not quite sure how it will go, but let's give it our best. Oh my god, yes. Yes! Hey, Armadil Chase Kurt, it's beautiful. I'm gonna commit to this though. But there it is, full armor, more points. Oh my god, we look like a demon. Literally, only archers ring missing. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. You know, it's challenges like these where I need to do this, for example, for 30 minutes, stay in this room, where my soul still a relic is so chill to do. I barely need to eat any food. I barely need to do anything with prayer. Uh, but what I do is I normally just pray when the boss is out and then I either flick or I just don't pray when the minions are out and my prayer is always full. I've used zero prayer potions and I think I've killed, what, about 10 right now? I think we need to kill 30, so... It's gonna be a bit of a process, but uh, we on it. We're doing it. Hey, no way. I wasn't recording. I forgot to turn it back on since the last clip. Here's another Arma chain skirt. You may be wondering, why is this guy excited for a dupe? Well, we can dismantle this thing, and once we get Mazori, we can have fortified Mazori. But I guess since I already have full Arma, it doesn't really matter. Look, it's a cool item, okay? Let me enjoy it. There's no way I just pulled the Godsword shard. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but the reason why I'm using like Runite Bolts right now to kill the minion and not like Dragonstone Runite Bolts is because the Soul Stealer Relic doesn't proc when the Bolt procs. It's a little bit complicated, right? But that's why I'm literally using three different arrows. But they're fixing that. I'm reading the patch note right now uh, of the fixes they're trying to do. So the specs of your Bolts are also going to be able to heal you and that's going to be... So fun. I can't wait for that. That's gonna make this even better. So right now there's often instances where we're specking 100, 100, and 100, but we're not actually healing. However, once they fix it, the Soul Stealer Relic is going to the moon. There it is. Grandmaster task is now completed. We have killed it 30 times without leaving the instance. And there is only one more task that I can do when it comes to combat achievements, and that is kill the boss by not killing the boss. So basically with the recoils and vengeance, I'm gonna assume. So I can comfortably teleport out and prepare for that uh, next, I guess. The only unfortunate thing is I cannot kill Kriara uh, by killing her with a salamander. Oh wait, I can. Wait, let's do this. I don't know what I need to feed the orange salamander. I cannot use the black one, but I can use the lower tier one. Never have I imagined to be picking swamp tar to be able to make mithril tar to be able to feed an orange salamander to be able to kill armadil. Yeah, let's just pick some of these up. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Uh, it is what it is. I just hope that the game protects the food. So it's like, you know how I have the range relic so I don't lose bolts? I really hope I don't need like 15 tar for one attack. I'm just gonna test it out right now and uh, yeah, we're gonna analyze it together because otherwise this might be quite a process and quite a rough one. Okay, I have 15 man until tar. That's, that's better. I thought I would only get one. So let's see. I hit it once, it goes down. Okay, 
Let's try it again. It goes down. Okay, I'm not gonna try it again. I'm gonna get a nice safe amount. Okay, so we got Salamander. We got Merentil. I think I just spray and I send it in a private. I mean, I have a range relic, so this should probably kind of help. Oh no, it's like not even sped up. I have a feeling I'm never gonna hit. Okay, I hit once. Hit again. This might be a hard one. I have a bad feeling about this fucking orange salamander is trash. Dude, my biggest concern isn't that I couldn't make it, because I can. My biggest concern is running out of mud and tiltar. Yeah, now I hit a three, good. No way I'm being this unlucky. And then I hit a three again. Yeah, no way, man. Oh, just hit it here, please. Five. Just hit it again, please. It's all I need. One hit, one hit, one hit. <gasps> no way. We still to go. We brought it back. We brought it back. I, this is the best feeling ever. There is. I was sure. I was so sure. This shit ain't gonna work. And we brought it back. Through the power of fucking... I don't know who. But we did it. Dude, no way, man. <laughs> okay, we got one more. One more to do. And for this one... I'm not gonna do, basically I can never hit Kriara directly, so I'm gonna shift click the left click to walk here. And I know usually you click Kriara, you click minion, you click Kriara, you click minion. I'm just gonna try to never click Kriara. It's a bit out of the box, but I don't wanna accidentally hit her because I'm attacking so fast. So with chins it would, it would just be too fast, I think. So here, I'm just gonna try standing under, and I know I'm gonna get meleeed. And I'm just gonna be hitting this melee like this. I'm just gonna try it like this anyways. Okay, I might go this way into the corner. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that should be killing Kriara without ever touching it. There it is, and that is all possible combat tasks completed for the Kriara. That is uh, really good, really good, very happy with that. And just like that, I believe this is a very fitting spot for us to complete this video. Kriara, fully completed, full armadil obtained. Obviously, I don't have my crossbow on me at the moment, but as always, it has been an absolute pleasure having all of you on the video today. I do hope some of you will use the pest control trick. I genuinely think it's extremely broken once you reach the seventh relic. And with that being said, I'll see you again very soon with another video. Have a beautiful rest of your day and bye-bye. Uh,